This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. I was really proud of our defensive effort. Um, I had some anxiousness going in because having done this a little while, I know how sometimes uh, you can be a little nervous and the pressure can be on the one seed. And uh, I was proud of our guys because we didn't shoot the ball as proficiently as we are accustomed to uh, from three, but uh, we grinded out a really tough victory. Like, NGIT is a difficult team to guard, and uh, they've got some matchups that uh, they try and exploit on each possession. So I thought our defense uh, held, the, held the line, and uh, we were able to come up with some big plays in the uh, second half. Questions for players? Georgie, that uh, possession where you let the shot clock run down, try to study the defense, what did you see and when did you know to attack and then finish uh, around the Akite trying to block your shot? Uh, I think yeah, I just saw the lane open. I think uh, you know I just trying to run the clock out, and you know I just saw the lane open. I just I just take that chance to take it to the rim, all the way to the rim. When Brian Kennedy was here, he just says you seem to make big shots all the time. What is it about you in these pressure pack situations throughout your career here, where you seem to come up big in certain situations and you can shoot it, you know, cool under pressure? Uh, I think just by experience, I think playing international with the national team and, you know, and being in so many games here in Col and here at Liberty, being some close games and tough ones. So, and I just, you know, I, I think the experience just helped me a lot. And I know I'm pretty sure for Caleb too. So I think, you know, I just, I just concentrate and just do my, do what I do. So. Uh, Georgie, you guys have made it really tough on Zach Cooks every time you guys have played him, haven't really let him get easy shots, have kept him inefficient. Uh, what's kind of been the defensive strategy, especially dealing with him? Uh, <laughs> it's just uh, the same thing we do every every game. I just, you know, we try to make, you know, be hard to play against no matter who we're playing. And, and I, we know that Zach is a really good player and, you know, he – when he we, when he gets going, I think they they look good. So I think we just trying to, you know, do what we do every day. So that's what happened tonight. Caleb, playing with the target on you guys back all season, does that kind of help prepare you a little bit for this uh, tournament when you're the one seed and, and playing at home and everybody's trying to trying to knock you guys off? Uh, yeah, you know, for us, I think it's just we just try to get better every day. Um, I think that's what's helped us out uh, to get to this point now. Um, we know that we got a target just because we're number one seed, but we throw all the seeding out and we just go out there and play. You, know, you guys got the lead up, I believe, to 13 at the most in the second half, but weren't able to create any more separation. Did NJIT, NJIT do anything to make sure the lead never expanded, or did, was it just something you guys did just in the floor of the game? Uh, for us, I think we just, we just stayed the course. Um, I know that our offense, like Coach said, just wasn't going, but I think we relied on our defense tonight. Um, I think we, we pulled it out, like you said, 13-point lead, but we just tried to stay the course, and after that it was whatever happened, um, and I think we fell back on our defense. Caleb, their coach was just in here a few moments ago, said that they really wanted to limit your three-point looks here tonight. Uh, did you feel like that they were trying to do that, and how were you guys able to, to score and, and uh, overcome that in the end? No, I didn't notice. I was just playing. Um, you know, for us, though, we just tried to get a great shot, um, and I think that was the key for all of us tonight, especially for me. You guys will be playing for either one of you. You guys will be playing for the fourth time in eight days Thursday. What's going to be a key for you guys? Just keep your bodies rested, mentally focused, so that way whoever comes in here on Thursday, you guys are ready to go. Yeah, uh, that starts now for us. Um, just get in with the trainers, um, get ready for the next game, be physically and mentally prepared, film room. If that's practice tomorrow, we just got to stay the course. One more. Okay, Caleb, when you guys get into a really physically tough game, and especially in that first half, the offensive rhythm wasn't always there. Uh, how do you guys keep your – do, does your mindset change at all when you know that the rhythm, rhythm isn't there, but you guys still have a good chance to win? Uh, I think for us it's always defense, um, no matter what. It doesn't matter if our offense is going well or not. Um, we're going to defend on the other end, and that's going to give us a chance to win. Georgia, that deflection shot that you had tonight, uh, take us back to that. I mean, they're trying to make the extra pass to you. It goes straight up in the air. Uh, just take me back to that play. Do you remember it? Uh, I don't know. I just I just heard the bench. I assume Kauf just tipped it to me. I just heard the bench. You, you got to shoot it. So I, I shot it. I was wide open too, but I just heard the bench sh uh, shoot it. So that's why I did it.